Welcome back to Math Wino. Solve the positive integer solutions of this equation. First to the power of a, the minus 36 to the power of b is equal to 28. How should we solve it? Of course, if you have noticed that 4 is 2 squared and 36 is the square root of 6, then it will be very, very easy for you. 4 is the square root of 2, it is 2 squared. So the first step, write the 4 as 2 to the power of 2. Don't forget the bracket. Minus 36 is 6 squared, so it is 6 to the power of 2, and then all to the power of b. And then equals 28. Now, I have to get the formula. a to the power of m, and then all to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m then times n it is also equal to a to the power of n and then also to the power of m in this equation because here appears a 2 and here also so we use this formula 2 to the power of 2 and then also to the power of a it is equal to 2 to the power of a and then also to the power of 2 2 to the power of a and then all to the power of 2. Minus 6 squared and then all to the power of b. It is equal to 6 to the power of b first and then all squared. Now we have to use another formula that x squared the minus y squared is equal to x plus y and then times x minus y. x is 2 to the power of a. y is 6 to the power of b. So it is equal to 2 to the power of a and then plus 6 to the power of b and then times 2 to the power of a then minus 6 to the power of b is equal to 28. Now we can solve the value for these two guys, but not directly. First, we have to analyze this number, 28. Is it nice? Maybe. 28, it can be written as 1 then times 28. It has to be written as a product of two numbers, two positive integers. It can be written as 1 times 28, 2 times 14, and 4 times 7. Now, I have a question. Why does it have to be written as a product of two positive integers? Because 2 to the power of a and 6 to the power of b even a and b are real numbers, they are both always positive. So the sum of them is always positive, greater than zero. Because 28 is also a positive integer. It is also positive. So 2 power of a the minus 6 to the power of b has to be positive. Now since a and b are both positive integers, so 2 power of a then plus 6 to the power of b is a positive integer. This also. How many cases are there? We don't know. But you have to know one fact. That 2 to the power of a then plus 6 to the power of b is always greater than 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b. Maybe now you think there are three cases. One, two, three. But, are you sure there are three cases? We should analyze them more carefully. Because 2 and 6, they are both even numbers. Since 2 and 6 are both even, and a and b are both positive integers, so 2 to the power of a and 6 to the power of b are always 
even. The sum of two even numbers is always even. So the sum of two even numbers is always another even number. The subtraction of two even numbers, of course, it has to be even also. I'm going to ask you the question again. How many cases are there? 1 times 28 is not okay because both of them should be even. 4 times 7 not okay because both of them should be even. The only right answer is 2 then times 14. Which is 2? Which is 14? Of course, it is bigger than this. So 2 to the power of a then plus 6 to the power of b should be 14. And the other one is 2. 2 to the power of a then plus 6 to the power of b is equal to 14. And the subtraction of 2 to the power of a and 6 to the power of b is 2. Solve this system of equations. Of course, you can substitute that 2 to the power of a is u and 6 to the power of b is v, but it's not useful. This is the first equation and this is the second equation. Now, for solving the value of 2 to the power of a and 6 to the power of b, you can add these two equations together and you can get 2 times of 2 to the power of a is equal to 16. And 1 time of 2 to the power of a is 8, so a is 3. Now your second work is because a is 3, so 2 to the power of a is 8. 14 then minus 8 is 6. 6 to the power of b is 6, then b is 1. Of course, you can do some checks. For example, take it here, substitute, and you can find out that 4 to the power of 3 then minus 36 to the power of 1 is equal to 28. It can be hold. It is very wonderful that we have solved this equation. To get it, and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.